Hey boaters, it's Jim from Raymarine with an Axiom Tech Tip. A lot of you have written in and asked how to populate data items in different places on the display. I'm gonna show you how to do it in this short little video. It's actually very easy. There's three different places on your Axiom where you can see data. You can float it on top of an application window. You can have it in a sidebar, or you can have it in our dashboard app. Configuring them is pretty similar in all three locations. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to bring up our Axiom. I'm going to go into the chart app as an example. And you can see I have a data item here for depth. Well, let's say I want to add maybe water temperature to go along with that. It's very easy. I come up into the menu. I go down here to settings. I'm going to go to page settings. The data items are going to be unique to this page. So I'm going to edit my data overlays. And I'm going to add a new one. This library is called the data manager. This is where I can find all my different pieces of information all nested in these categories. So water temperature is part of the environmental category. And when I open it up, I can scroll up or down the list here. And there is water temp. So I just touch it to add it. Once I have a data item out floating on the screen, I can move it around just by dragging it with my finger and I can place it anywhere I want. Another thing I can do to these floating data items, I can touch them again. I could resize it and make it larger or smaller. Again, I can move it around freely. And if I don't want it to be shown at all, I could just uh, long press on it and then select delete. When I'm happy with the layout of my data items, I just touch done up here. And that data set is now unique to this page. Now I mentioned there's a second place that we can show data on the system and that is on the swipe out sidebar. With your finger, if you swipe in from the left side of the display, it reveals this data bar. It has some factory default settings on it, but you can customize everything that's on the data bar. And it works very much like creating a floating data item. Let me show you how that's done. So now you can see the swipe out data bar out here on the left side of the screen. And it's got various pieces of information programmed into it. But if I don't like what it's displaying, it's easy to change it. Just a long press on one of these data items. And I select Edit. And up comes the data library, which we have seen before. And let's say, for example, I want to put my GPS position up there in the first cell. I'm going to select GPS. And then I'm going to select vessel position. And you can see it has updated that data cell to show the boat's latitude and longitude. If I want to update another cell, I just long press on it. Again, select edit. And this time I'm going to put the boat's heading in there. And that is how you edit the swipe out sidebar. Now, I also mentioned that you can edit items in the dashboard app as well. So dashboard is a full screen presentation of data. It can show things like engine information, tank levels, navigation data. It's got some fancy custom displays in there for rolling road and wind and speed and things like that. Um, but all the fields in the dashboard app can be edited the same way as our floating data items and our swipe out sidebar. So let's take a look. So I'm going to select the dashboard app, and this dashboard page will load up. And there's many different ways that you can display information in the dashboard app. This particular page is called a by data, so it's two pieces of information on the screen. Um, but this edits up the same way as the sidebar. If I want to change this speed over ground readout to something else, I can simply long press on it. And then I can select Edit. And once again, here is the data library. And I could pick something else. Maybe I want to go to heading. And again, I could put my uh, compass heading information up here on the screen. Um, there are other pages in here as well, just to show you how it would work on a page with a different layout. I am scrolling through some of my data items. And here is uh, one of the fancier pages. It has a virtual wind instrument on it. But let's say, for example, I do not need tack heading in here. I just long press it. I select Edit. And again, the data library comes up. I could pick some other piece of information to go in here. I'm going to choose Depth and pop it in there. So now I have, well, I got dual depth readouts. But I think you get the point. 
So as you can see, it's actually very easy to custom configure your Axiom display. Again, you have sidebars, you have floating data boxes, or you have the dashboard app. Uh, with this little bit of knowledge, I hope you can go and customize your own Axiom with confidence, make it your own, and get out there on the water. Thanks for watching.